if a man beats on you or, or, or howls at you or doesn't respect you, then it's, it's leading up to that point. It led to a life-threatening situation for this man's cousin, who was with her boyfriend as he intentionally crashed his car, allegedly in an attempt to kill her and their unborn baby. She survived, but the baby did not. Well, tonight, her estranged boyfriend, Gregory Parker, is facing two counts of attempted vehicular homicide. And in Nashville's News 2 exclusive, the victim's cousin, Latrice Greer, talks to Joseph Pleasant. Jarvis Dabney is speaking for his cousin Latrice Gear because physically she cannot. Her jaw is wired shut after a December 1st wreck police say her now ex-boyfriend Gregory Parker intentionally caused. She sat next to Dabney as we talked. She could have been dead. All right? to, to break every bone in your face, you know what I'm saying, break your leg. Greer was also two months pregnant. She lost the baby. It happened right off Clarkville Highway. Her friend Henry Bro was also in the car. He did not want to speak on camera, but told me Gregory Parker had been drinking and started arguing with Greer after she told him she wanted out of the relationship. Then he says Parker made a startling announcement. Bro told me that as Parker got near 23rd Avenue North, he told him and Greer that he was going to kill everyone in the car. That's when Bro says Parker stepped on the gas and aimed for a car parked on the streets. Bro was left with bruises and injuries to his leg. Parker had minor injuries, but Greer was near death. After the wreck, Parker was free for several days. Dabney says Parker stalked his cousin, forcing them both into hiding. He's harassing, calling, cussing, uh, threatening, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're not going to stop me from seeing her. Dabney wants others who may be in dangerous relationships to learn from his cousin's experience. And I pray to God that, that you have this common sense to say, hey, the love is not there, and, and to get out of the situation. Tell somebody. Dabney is now providing around-the-clock care for Greer. She faces additional surgeries and months of recovery, but he says he's thankful that she's alive. In South Nashville, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2. Gregory Parker is in jail, charged with two counts of attempted vehicular homicide and with making harassing phone calls. He has been convicted before on domestic assault, burglary, and forgery.